Hello, people. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good Hello, evening. good evening. tal cómo están muy bien teacher gracias okay ya very, listo very good Okay, people, let's get started. I'm going to take the first attendance of the evening. So please, cameras on. Turn on your cameras. I'm going to start. Abner Adoni Molina. Abner Adoni, not here yet. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present. Okay, welcome. Brian Aldair Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carmen Merari Rios. Carmen Merari. Yes. Irma Noemi de Jesus Melendez. Present teacher Martinez. Melendez, no, a Martinez. Martinez. <laughs> Okay. Jose Francisco Beltrán. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jose Francisco, the 10 minutes at the end of the class are for you tonight. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Carla Milena Lopez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Okay. Siento como que estoy en el seguro. Lady Olivet Cruz. Present teacher. Ok. María Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Ok. Mariel Andrea Carranza. Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Okay. Mónica María Pérez. Present. Okay. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Okay. Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. 
Ricardo Alonso López. Sandra Yamilet Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Teresa Noemí Ángel. Present teacher. Okay. Vilma de Los Ángeles Escobar. Vilma. Yes. And William Giovanni Laine. Present. Okay. Auner Adoni. No. Carmen Merari. No. Y los otros nunca llegan. Okay. Welcome one more time. Let's get started. Uh, here, 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 here. Okay. Last class, we started talking about uh, command or instruction. Estamos a hablar de ordenes, instrucciones. Yeah. Y how to use please to be more polite para ser más educado más refinados eh, y este how we can use please at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. Yeah, at the beginning or at the end. Now, look at this command. We use command to, we use commands to order or tell someone to do something. We use command to order or tell, tell someone to do something. And we have some examples here. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. These are some common commands. Algunos instrucciones comunes at work. Okay. Please repeat after me. Please write a check. Please, Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please. Please, send a memo. Please check the report. Please check the report. Please supervise the employee. Please supervise the employee. Please go to a meeting. Please go to a meeting. Okay. Um, I would like you to add. Quisiera o me gustaría que ustedes agreguen two common orders or common commands you usually receive at work. Two common orders or common commands you receive at work. For example, in my case, some common uh, command, please upload the video conference 
to YouTube. Yeah. Or please uh, upload students grades on Saturday. These are common commands I receive. Yeah? Please upload the video conference to YouTube. Please upload the students' grade on Saturday. What about you? I want you to write Two common commands or orders you usually receive at work. Okay? Write two more, please. No, but write the sentence. Please check the inventory. Ah, okay. Two, okay, two. Minimum two. Remember that when we use please, at the beginning, we don't use comma. We use comma when please goes at the end. Uh 
Four, five, six, seven. Como nueve han, han enviado sus dos. Faltan algunos, faltan. Ok, esos son commands. Que ustedes usualmente reciben. Correcto. Commands that you usually receive. Yes. Ok. I will send you to working groups and talk about your command. Y conversen y, lo, y, y los compartan ahí en sus grupos. Let me see. Wait. Okay, go to your groups, please, and talk about your, the, the commands or orders or instructions you usually receive from your superior, from your boss, okay? Go to, your, to the groups, please, five minutes. Quickly, practice about these commands. Practiquen sobre estos órdenes o instrucciones que reciben.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, so I want to hear your command, your instructions. The instructions uh, you usually receive at work, okay? Volunteer. Okay, Kevin. Okay, good evening, teacher. I have two uh, instructions, yes, bueno. Mm -hmm. instructions. Commands, orders, instructions. Command tomorrow. <laughs> Number one, please come to work early tomorrow, 6 a.m. Wow, okay. <laughs> Number two, please send report tomorrow, 7 a.m. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Kevin. Mauricio. Okay. <clears throat> please supervise and email. Number two, please supervise the new inter. Okay, good. Thank you. Carlos Enrique. Please send an email with the information. Please review the information. Okay, good. Teresa. Okay. Please write an article for a print page. And please edit those videos for today. Okay. William. Carlos, deliver the a report, please. Number two, please check in check the inventory. Okay, good. Carlos Antonio. Okay. Please review the final statement. And please, please check a video. Okay. Good. For the maths, raise your hand. Okay. Okay, Vilma. Oh, I'm sorry. Levanta la mano ahí para que te vaya colocando Zoom ahí en order. ¿Me? Yes, Vilma. Please report the alert about the regulate operations. And two, please write the report from board of directors. Okay, good. La manita así es la que tienen que poner. No, no, no la de así ni la de así, sino la manita que queda así. Esa no se no se desaparece. Okay, Monica, your turn. Okay. Uh, give me the last report, please. Okay. Um, please program the interview. Okay. Program. Okay, good. Thank you. Jose Francisco. Okay, number one, send a email to supplier of product order, please. Number two, please write a report of what you did today. Okay, good. Thank you, Brian. Please support in story and review investigation, please. Okay, good. Mary. Please prepare a meeting for Monday at night o'clock. Okay. Please send a report for all the company. Okay, very good. Irma. Please help me write the last report for the bus. To please communicate an urgent meeting. Okay. Carla. Oh. 
please attend customer complaints and please call the clients. Okay. Raul. Please share the presupports, the sales. Please, please send the photography, the inventory. Okay. Very good. Marta. Please help me watch my homework. Mm -hmm. Please help my the report of the day. Okay. ¿Quién falta? Ana Elizabeth. Uh, please review those, those documents. Correct me this accounting item, please. Okay. Mauricio. Please play my money. Uh -huh. Number one, solo es a teacher. Okay. Galán no recibe muchas órdenes, el joven. <laughs> ¿Quién falta? La una. Ok. Ok, lady. Please. Please transfer the, the mail. Uh -huh. Please will. Uh, please let's go to the office. Ok. Sandra. Okay, please send the report to the company manager. Uh -huh. Only one. Two, two. Yes. Send the product to the warehouses, please. Ah, okay. Listen to us. Well, but okay, see. Okay, very good. Okay, qué, qué bueno que siempre les dicen please. En el trabajo, ¿verdad? Okay. Now, um, I don't know if you give instructions to other people. No sé si ustedes le dan instrucciones a otras personas. En el trabajo. Y si no en el trabajo, en su casa. ¿Verdad? Y si no en su casa, <ríe> en la calle, no sé. Ok, pero think about two orders or commands that you give to another person. Two Usual command que ustedes le dan to other people at work, at home. I don't know. Ok. Escriban. Escriban ahí en el chat. Ya vimos órdenes que recibimos. Ahora two orders or two commands. You give this done. Orders, commands, or instructions.
Okay, let me see. Okay. I will send you again to, to your groups to talk, okay? To talk about your orders, the orders or instructions you go or you give to other people, okay? Join your groups, please.
Okay. I want to hear your commands now. Okay, who starts? Teacher. Okay. Let's start with William. Okay, number one. Please start clean the word are. Mm -hmm. El área, creo que sí, pero área. Okay. Please order the tool. Okay, very good. Thank you. Kevin? Okay. Please take the material. The material. Please go buy the product. product. Okay. Anna? <clears throat> Uh, send me the bank statement, please. Send me the sales reports, please. Okay. Mauricio? Okay. Number one. You had working, please. Okay. Yeah. Number two. You had report, please. Okay, good. Carlos, Antonio. Okay, please take me to work and please help me with homework. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's continue with Carlos Enrique. Please explain me your process. Please send me the request information. Okay. Brian? Please help me be scheduling a meeting. Uh, receive the merchandise, please. Okay. Irma? Uh, before you go to the work, take out the trash, please. Okay. Two, I need your first thing, thing in the office tomorrow, please. Okay, very good. And Teresa? Cecia, walk the dog, please. And Damaris, share the photo, please. Okay. Jose Francisco. Microfono. Okay. Do not allow Luis to watch Stay in the world horse. Please do what you have been assigned. Okay. Escríbanos siempre en el chat, por favor. Okay. Uh, Monica. Marisol, organize, organize, organize the training for the new employees, please. And number two, Tom, pass me the check to sign. Okay. Marta Marisol. Please help, help do my job. Number two, please bring my food. Okay. Vilma? Please send me the information, the information of support of the operation. And two, please request for PEP. Okay. Carla? <laughs> please attend 
no, please help me attend the clients. And two is please help me with the procedure of the system. Okay. Okay. ¿Quién más? Okay, Mary. Mary. Uh, please make the invoice and documents for the customers. Uh, please send your homework to school. Okay. Raul. Please clean the car. Please come to work well better. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything más? One. Two. Three. No more. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Okay. Please. Please take a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Please be punctual at check checking time. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Alguien más? No, okay. Very good. So we studied command, orders, or instructions, okay? Now let's continue with lesson three. Remember, we are always talking about ongoing activities at the workplace, ongoing activities at the workplace, okay? In lesson three, you will be able to, si usted es capaz de, o yo seré capaz de, state the frequency of activity I do in my work, and use expressions to state urgency or command. So you will be able to state, establecer o declarar o decir la frecuencia, the frequency of activities I do in my work and use expression to state, usar expresiones para expresar valga la redundancia, expresar o, o establecer urgencia or command. Okay. Let's take a look to this article. This is about Mr. Wilson. Let's read about Mr. Wilson. I'm going to read and record this text here in WhatsApp. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd, I am always busy. Okay, ahí les queda el audio en WhatsApp. 
lo leo una vez más. Pay attention. Ok. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, generally I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay. Uh, there are some sentences here. Hay algunas oraciones aquí. And you have to, first, you have to check true or false. Ya. Yeah. Van a escribir uh, T for true. T for true and F for false. Okay? De acuerdo al texto, de acuerdo al párrafo anterior. Okay? Y, por ejemplo, si esta fuera falsa, vamos a ponerle como que es false. Y dice, his name is John Wilkin. Suponiendo que fuera falsa, me van a escribir lo correcto. The correct sentence. For example, his name is George uh, Wilson. Por ejemplo, esto es nada más un un ejemplo al azar. Las que sean falsas, hay que corregirlas. Las que sean verdaderas, pues no. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que van a hacer. So, uh, I will send you to working groups for that activity, okay? Let me create new groups. Only... Ok. Creo que todos quedan por lo menos con una persona más. Ok, so practice the reading and write true or false and correct the error. Go to your groups, please.
Hello, hello, people. Please practice the reading of the text because I will ask you to read the paragraph. I will ask you to read the text. So practice the reading, the pronunciation of the text.
Okay, welcome back. Let's check your work. So his name is John Wilkin. True or false? False. 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 Why? His what name is the... John Wilson? His name is his John name... Wilson. Ah, okay. His name is John Wilson. Okay. Number two, he writes reports every right. day. False. 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 Okay, why? He checks he he check email every day. Every day. He, he checks email every day. He checks email every day. He checks what? Emails. Emails. Email. Every day. Okay. Number three. False. 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 Why? He always, he always answer different and talk to the potential employees. Employees. He always answer, answer the phone. Yes. And talk to potential employees. Employees. Yes. Okay. Okay. Number four, he often attends meetings in the morning. It's true. 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 That's true. Okay. Five, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. False. 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 Why? He often attend meetings in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Six. He usually has events in his company. Two. 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 Seven. He has to go to a conference on July 22nd. False. 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 Uh huh. Why? He, he, he has he to, has to go, has go to a conference to go on July, July, July 21st. 21. 21. Twenty first. Twenty first. Uh, hey. Very good. Now, any volunteer to read the text? Okay, Wilma. Now? Yes. 
Okay, Vilma, go ahead. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning, not so often if the in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21 ST. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference, the conference on July, on July 22 ND. I am always busy. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, this July 21st. July 21st. July 21st. Yeah, this is ordinal number, remember? July 21st. Good. Okay, Anna Elisa. Teacher, puede escribir lo que dijo 20 de 21, ese es este 21st. Sure. Uh, is 21st. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, Annalisa. Go ahead. Hello, hello, my name is Johnson Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, very good. Let me show you this word. This word, answer. 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 Yeah, forget the W. Answer. Answer. I always answer the phone. I always answer. Okay, uh, who's next? Monica. Thank you, teacher. Hello, my name. Hello, my name is John Wilson. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have, event, have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, okay. And the... This word. This word. The stress o la fuerza de voz va aquí. 
employee. Employee. Employees. Employees. Yes. Okay. Carlos Antonio. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees generally. I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon in my company. We always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we had to attend a meeting about the conference in July 22nd. And I am always busy. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, a couple of words. This word. La fuerza va aquí. Events. 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 Okay. okay. Y esta otra que sí, varios me está costando un poquito porque human resources. 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 Sí, es plural. Resources. Human resources manager. Ok, resources. Si no llevara la S, sí sería solo resource. Pero como es plural, resources. Ok. Ok, nadie más. Ya no veo manos levantadas que quieran. Teacher, el, el, ¿me podría regalar la pronunciación del 22, por favor, si es tan amable? 20 second. 20 second. Gracias. Ok. Epifania, please. Ok. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. General, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, very good. Only this word. La fuerza de voz va aquí. Potential. Potential. Yes. Potential. 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 Vale, repasemos algunas de las que ya marcamos. Resources. 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 Answer. Answer. A ver, vamos todos. Answer. 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 Potential. 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 Employees. 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 Event. 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 July 21st. July 21st. July 21st. July 21st. Okay, let's continue with Carla. 
Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we, all, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Hey, very good, very good. Only remember, aquí olvídense de estas W, que si tienden a hacer la answer. No, no, no. Esa W no existe en la pronunciación. Ok, answer. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Yeah. Ok, Brian. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I share email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, general, I attend a meeting in the morning and not so often in the, in the afternoon. And my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the company on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, okay, very good. Only uh -huh. attend. Attend, okay? Attend, okay. Attend. Okay, uh, William. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in our office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk, talk to potent, potential, potential employees. Generally, at 10 minutes in the morning and not so often in the, in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We had to attend a conference on July 20, 21st, and we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd, I am always busy. Okay, okay, very good. Jose. Okay, hello, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in office, I am woman researcher manager. Every day I check email for the company are always on share the phone in to potential employees. Generally, I often meeting in the morning and, and not too often in the afternoon. In my company, we, we always have events. We have to attend companies in July 25th, and then we have how to obtain a uh, meeting about the company in July uh, 22nd, I am always Bush. Okay, very good, very good. BC, BC. Okay. 
Y varios. Se les está olvidando acá. Resources. Resources. Ok. Ok. Uh, two more. Solo dos más. Y hay. Y hay, teacher. <laughs> Dice, okay. hello, my name is Sean Wilson. I work in, in an office. I am common resource manager every day. I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and tell, tell to potential employees. General, generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to at attend conference on July 21 1st and, and the, we have uh, to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22 second. I am always bus. Busy. 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 Okay. And finally, Raul. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in, in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 25th and then we have to attend a meeting about, about the conference on July 22nd. And I, I am always busy. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now. Uh, so, vean en ese texto, en ese párrafo, John Wilson se presenta, dice qué es, qué hace, cocina, cuáles son sus actividades más comunes. Entonces, you are going to write a similar paragraph about you. Ok. Va a ser un párrafo o ese acerca de usted. Vean, tiene 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, como 10 oraciones. Este párrafo, más o menos, por ahí tiene que andar el de ustedes. ¿Verdad? Es decir, no una, un asunto de tres líneas. Exprésense, escriban acerca de ustedes, su trabajo lo que hacen. ¿Ok? Les doy el tiempo para que lo hagan. Que vaya terminando. Levanta la mano. When you finish, please raise your hand.
You can use the dictionary, but not the translator. Pueden usar el diccionario, pero no el traductor. Y yo me doy cuenta muy bien cuando las oraciones vienen del traductor. Vean, pueden usar the frequency advert para hablar de la frecuencia con que hacen algo. Always, usually, sometimes. Cuánta cámara apagada. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Uh, me preguntan por aquí. Conference or meeting. A conference es donde hay alguien que está dando charla. Reuniones o meeting. Okay, people, let's stop here. Tomorrow you are going to talk about your text. Okay, mañana van a hablar acerca de esto. So I'm going to take this last attendance of the evening. Abner Adoni Molina. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. A Brian Aldair Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Good night. Carlos, okay. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Carmen Merari Rios. Carmen Merari. Irma Noemí de Jesús. Present teacher. Okay. José Francisco Beltrán. Present teacher. Okay. Don't go. Carla Milena López. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Lady Olivet Cruz. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Maria Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Uh, Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Monica Maria Perez. Excellent. Good night. Okay. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Raul Mauricio Ramirez. Present. Okay. Ricardo Alonso López. Sandra Yamile de Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Teresa Noemi Ángel. Present teacher. Okay. Vilma de Los Ángeles Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, and William Bye. Giovanni Lainez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Good night, teacher. Good night. Sweet dreams. Ok, José, este tiempo es para resolver alguna duda, reforzar algún tema que se quiera. Bien. Sí, te, sí, te eh, pues es un gusto, la verdad, poder conversar, ¿verdad? Y comentarle que eh, cuando me escribí en la empresa, pues a lo más vi la, el correo que enviaron, pues para mí fue una alegría. Y le digo, a mi le digo a mi compañero, y se, porque los dos somos encargados, ¿verdad? Tenemos un escalafón A y, y más que todo era para encargados y supervisores. Y pues yo salí de estudiar en el 98, ¿verdad? Saqué mi bachillerato y, y ha sido poco lo que he venido, ¿verdad? Eh, practicando. Eh, pues para mí siempre ha sido un propósito, ¿verdad? Poder aprender. Y bueno, le dije a él que viera ahí se podía inscribirme y lo logramos. En la evaluación, pues, saqué 22 puntos de 100, ¿verdad? Como tenía tiempo de no, eh, de no. Entonces, este, crea lo que quizás para mí, eh, el, lo que quizás me cuesta ahorita es aprenderme o enriquecerme de muchas palabras, ¿verdad? Eh, porque quizás formar la, las clases están muy bonitas, crea lo que he aprendido un, un poco, 
pues, de lo que yo sabía, hoy sé un poquito más, pero quizás donde me cuesta es en el, en el escuchar, en las pronunciaciones, y cuando alguien habla, como le repito, el, la falta de conocimiento de, del aprendizaje de las palabras, ¿verdad? Eh, no le miento, eh, por acá tengo en mi cuaderno eh, palabras donde estudio, las practico y trato de memorizarlas, ¿verdad? Eh, mi quizás mi propósito es que al final de, del curso, pues poder ya quizás un, un porcentaje algo bonito ya poder manejar el inglés. Y yo le digo a mi esposa, si eso me, me gusta y termina el módulo, pues quizás no quedarme con esto, ¿verdad? Quizás eh, ver la manera de cómo aprender, porque hay veces nos enseñan y nosotros ahí nos quedamos. Pero ahora voy a lo, aprovechando los 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <risas> quizás eh, donde me cuestan son los verbos, ¿verdad? En los verbos, eh, quizás en, en el tiempo presente, la conjugación, digamos, teacher. El verbo to be, el verbo to be. Eh, crea lo que veo videos. Pero hay veces la presión. Eh, me toca levantarme a las 3 y 20. Para, entro a las 6 de la mañana al trabajo y el cansancio. Pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si en eso quizás me podría en, eh, ayudar a enriquecer un poquito en el verbo ese to be. Y el otro, eh, en las palabras, por ejemplo, hay palabras creo que, que se pronuncian si hay dos o se pronuncian de otra forma, ¿verdad? Mira, la, la pronunciación del inglés es bastante caprichosa. Hay sí. cosas que se escriben igual y se pronuncian diferente. Correcto. ¿Verdad? Eh, entonces, eso se va aprendiendo con el tiempo a uno sabe a eh, qué palabra se pronuncia de tal manera, ¿verdad? Y una palabra que se escribe casi igual o incluso igual, pero está en, en otro sentido, eh, se pronuncia diferente. Eso sí es cosa de, del tiempo, de ir escuchando, de ir escuchando. Eh, yo igual, ¿verdad? Voy a recomendarte esta página que es la que yo creo yo que si ustedes logran yo sé que cuesta dedicar tiempo pero pero aquí hay más más cositas que se la voy a mostrar ahí le escribí en el chat y es esta Porque aquí hay muchos, muchos, muchas conversaciones cortas. De, se llama ILO con tres L's. ILO.org, aquí está. Ok. Puedes tomar nota de esto para que luego la busques en internet. Vea que está clasificado, hay audios, videos, y está clasificado en principiantes, beginner, intermedio, y avanzado. Ok. Entonces, pues, nos vamos al nivel principiante. Bueno. Y aquí lo que vas a encontrar son eh, conversaciones cortas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Que eh, como es nivel eh, principiante, pues son sencillas. Hay varias acá. Tú ingresas, por ejemplo, a Typical Day, que es más o menos de lo que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Sí. Aquí está el video. Acá está el audio. Incluso se puede descargar. Uh -huh. Como para andarlo 
ahí en el teléfono, pues, y andarlo sí. escuchando, escuchando, escuchando. Porque es, eh, también está el texto de la conversación, que esto te va a ayudar muchísimo a enriquecer el vocabulario. Sí. ¿Ya? Yo les recomiendo que primero lo escuchen sin leer. Lo escuchen varias veces sin leerlo. Sea que entiendas o no entiendas, ¿verdad? Pero escucharlo sin leer. Ya después okay. de haber escuchado, puedes oír y leer. ¿Verdad? Oír y leer y así. ¿sabes? Ah, yo te entiendo. Se ve largo, pero son conversaciones que te diré, veamos. Sí. De cuatro minutos. Sí. ¿Verdad? Esto es importante para enriquecer el vocabulario, para saber cómo van las frases, cómo se hacen las oraciones, ¿verdad? Más que a través de gramática, es a través de escuchar. Escuchar, escuchar, escuchar. Sí, sí. También tiene un pequeño examencito, ¿verdad? De, de comprensión. Esto para sencillo. Y una sección de vocabulario. Palabras nuevas. Con su pronunciación, su uso. ¿Verdad? Ok, ok. Cada conversación te da como para ti. Horas y horas solo con una, ¿verdad? Estar, porque la idea es que se, se la, la escuchen hasta que prácticamente se la aprendan. Solo, no de estar memorizando, sino de tanto oírla. Sí, sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. Cuando uno se aprende una canción, de tanto escucharla. Correcto, sí. Eso te va a ayudar muchísimo a enriquecer el vocabulario a enriquecer, a educar el oído para entender. Sí. Y cuando uno entiende, lo puede decir. Ok. ¿Verdad? Ok. Y eh, básicamente, esta paginita, ¿verdad? Dedícale un ratito ahí. A veces en el microbús cuando vengo... ¿Verdad? En el transporte, en vez de oír canciones, voy a venir escuchando audio. Sí, ¿verdad? sí. Sí. Incluso también, si quieren oír música, yo les recomiendo un, un estilo que es tranquilo. Toca, hay canciones comunes, populares, ¿Verdad? Las que a uno le gustan, pero Correcto. en este estilo. Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova en inglés puedes poner ahí en YouTube, ¿no? ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Y te van a aparecer, por ejemplo, este. ¿no? Uh, lo voy a abrir, pero, pero no lo podemos escuchar porque si no, el YouTube nos, sí. nos sanciona por derechos de autor. No, dice, no, no hay problema. Voy a enseñar rapidito, mira que. No sé si estas canciones son populares. Bueno, aquí hay canciones de los Beatles, Lionel Richie, Taylor Swift, ¿verdad? de diferentes sí, sí. Este, cantantes, ¿verdad? Correcto. Son populares. Pero a este es un ritmo tranquilo, es un ritmo como jazz, suave, lento, que se entiende. Sí. Se entiende, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. también sirve para educar el oído. ¿Verdad? Porque son canciones que a veces uno conoce, pero no las entiende porque normalmente va muy rápido. Así es. Pero en este ritmo... Es tranquilo, es rico, es relajante y van despacio. Ok, teacher. ¿Verdad? Sí. Como para Creo que va, vamos a poner todo el empeño el para... El oído. ¿Sí? Sí. Ya. 
Ok. Y de esa manera más que con, que con estudiar gramática, pues se aprende uno el uso de los verbos, el uso de las palabras, la forma de las oraciones. Ahí se va aprendiendo. Sí, teacher. Ok. Sí, ok. Pues no le quito más su tiempo. Perfecto, <ríe> le, agra le, ag José. le agradezco mucho por esos minutos, por su eh, tiempo, tomarse su tiempo de enseñarnos. Vea lo que vamos a poner todo nuestro empeño para poder lograr alcanzar pues, un buen porcentaje en estas clases. ¿verdad? Claro, claro que sí. ¿Verdad? Ahorita vamos empezando. Sí, tienen un camino de aquí a unos seis meses, un año que dure todo esto, pues van a ver que van a aprender bastante. Ok, teacher. Te <risa> agradezco mucho. Muy amable de su parte. Pasa feliz noche. Good night, teacher. Good night.